Hi guys, today I will show you how 3D camera tracker works and I will try to explain it as easy as possible in a very short time. Let's select your clip and go to tracker, if you don't see it here, go to window and enable tracker. Here we have two options, track camera and track motion. If you want to add some explosions or tracking text on your clip, it's better to use track camera. Let's begin with it. As you click on track camera, it will start analyzing your clip, for a better results I recommend to use detailed analysis. To enable it, expand advanced and toggle on detailed analysis, this will take a bit longer to analyze your video, but it will show you more tracking points. Once it's done analyzing, scroll forward to check all tracking points. I will select this tracking points here, cause they all are tracked well from a beginning of the video to the end. Before choosing tracking points I recommend to scroll your video and choose the best points. Now right click and select, create solid and camera. As we can see it has created a well tracked solid on our video and we can now track some explosion or other effects, but before we begin, let's cut the solid layer, match it to the length of your clip. Right click on your solid and click on pre-compose. Make sure to select leave all attributes and rename to whatever you want and then click on OK. Double click on your track solid now. Delete this blue solid from here, we don't need it anymore. Now go to project and drop your effect here. If your footage is large like in my case, press S to open scale and reduce the scale to match the size with the composition. Now let's go back to our main composition. As you can see that the fire effect is well tracked, but it needs to be fixed. Change X, Y and Z rotations until it looks realistic. Now it looks better. Once you know how track solid works, let me show you how tracking text is done. I will delete this track solid now and click on effects to see the 3D camera tracker, click on it to show up the tracking points. For example I want to track my text with the car and not on a ground. Highlight points on the car and for a better perspective select points as much as you can see on it. Right click and select create text. Now first what I'm going to do is, I will cut the text layer to match it to the clip length. If you play back the video you will see the text is tracked and now all we need to do is, adjust the text on our wish. Let's grab a text tool and select your text. Type anything you want, then highlight it and change the color, also adjust the text until it will look cool to you. I will leave it as default. Let's change X, Y and Z rotations and then position it. Press S and reduce or increase the scale of a text. Play around with orientation until you will be happy. Once we are done, let me show you how track motion works. You can use track motion for the same effects too, but it will be less effective and perspective won't be as cool as track solid is. So if you want to add explosions or track texts, I recommend to use track camera. But, for example if you want to change the sky or add some storm green screens on your clip it's better to use track motion. Let's begin. I will change the sky in this clip using the galaxy's footage. Drop it above your clip and place it where the sky is. Let's play back the video and we are done today. Hope this video was not helpful, please don't like the video and don't subscribe the channel. Just kidding, like the video and let's continue editing. First of all I will cut galaxy's layer and match it to my clip length. Toggle off galaxy's layer for a while and select your clip, then go to tracker and click on track motion. As the track point shows up on your video we can start tracking the background and all we have to do is to move the track point on a some dark and well contrasted area. In my case I will choose this black spot here. On a track point we have two boxes, one is small and another is large. If you make the small box smaller, you will make it focus on that spot better. Make large box larger to make it analyze better and results will be smoother. You are ready to analyze the tracker, but let me show you advanced settings for a smooth tracking. Click on options and make sure to select RGB, then toggle on adapt feature on every frame and then click on OK. Now you are ready to analyze the video, click here and wait until analyzing is done. As the analyzing is finished, create new null object. Cut that null and match it to the length of your video. Click on edit target. Here select the null we have created and click on OK. Now click on apply and make sure apply dimensions are set to X and Y then click on OK again. Once we have tracked null it means we can start changing the sky. Toggle on galaxies layer. If you play back the video nothing happens until you link it to null. Now check again. You can enable 3D on your galaxy layer in case you will need to change X, Y and Z rotations. Now you know how to use track motion and all you have to do now is replace that sky, I will skip that part cause this video is not about replacing the sky, but if you want to learn how to change sky, check my tutorial, 
how you can easily replace any sky or background in your videos, link will be in the description. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.